Just finishing up breakfast here. I have to head to San Diego. Reading an interesting book by my mentor, Dr. David Buss, Personality Psychology. I didn't go to college, but I read college textbooks. And uh, different book I read, which pertains to this. What do you think created the most billionaires, not millionaires? It's not what you think. It's not a tech startup that's funded out of San Francisco, Silicon Valley. It's not, uh, you know, a solar company. It's not sports. It's not even real estate. These, uh, it's a book. In this book, these accountants, I try to read it every couple of years, but I was just flipping through it. And these accountants found, as they went through the 100 self-made wealthiest people in history, or in modern history, and guess what they found? Sales, 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 sales. Knowing how to sell. 60 to 70% of self-made billionaires started in sales. McDonald's, Ray A. Kroc. Before he started McDonald's, he was selling milkshakes door to door or restaurant to restaurant. You know, that's sales. Bill Gates, if you read his story before he started Microsoft or when he started Microsoft, he was on the phone. He used to change his voice because he was only 16 years old. So he would talk deep like, hello, uh, yes, this is uh, Mr. Gates here. That was the foundation of, he then became the richest man in the world for 17 years, built upon sales. Mark Cuban, if you see the, when he came over to my house uh, a few years ago, I asked him, I said, what'd you start? He said, door-to-door -door sales. I started in phone sales and door-to-door -door sales. Now I'm not on Bill Gates level, but I've seen it in my life. You know, you look out here, this is New York City, this is Manhattan. They call this right here, Billionaire's Row. It's where I live in, in Manhattan, when I'm in Manhattan. And um, if you went and surveyed, obviously I haven't gone to all my neighbors, that, that place right there sold for $250 million. One flat, one condo. And so you gotta ask yourself, why didn't you learn psychology? Psychology is the basis of sales. Now I'm not talking about the psychology, the psychology they taught us in school. Um, the psychology we learn in school is more academic. It's more historical. What year was Sigmund Freud and things like this. What's the difference between you know, psychoanalysis and cognitive therapy. But that's not the sales you need in day to day. You need to learn how to read people. And years ago, I built a sales program that was very advanced for my salespeople. I've had different companies. Every company is a sales team. And so we launched that in 2014. It was one of the first things I did before 67 Steps. And I still have it, it's just priced very expensive. So recently people asked me, Ty, can you make a sales training course that is not as intense, you know? And so I decided here five years later that I would launch this sales program. So I'm gonna put a link, click this link below. Click this big link below. I'm gonna make a test group of people. I've been doing test groups, I like test groups. You let in a group of concentrated people, they're interested, they get in, and you, know, you see the results. And then we can tweak the program. So if you wanna be the first person ever in my sales training, I have a more advanced sales training that's like $10,000, but that's out of reach for most people. So I decided to build, and that's like a super black belt version. Like I do jujitsu, you have like, you know, white belt, blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, black belt, red, uh, coral belt, red belt. Like I built a system that's like a black belt or like a coral belt, red belt, we could say, like a grandmaster system that I train my sales guys in the different companies I own. But I wanted to make like a black belt system. Not quite a grandmaster, you know, red belt system, but good enough that will be the foundation for what you do in life. And so, um, no matter what you're in, whether you're an employee, you wanna get a raise, you wanna rise up, because you have to understand psychology and sales. So this is a psychology and sales system built upon the things that I've learned. People don't know about me, but I own a psychology um, quiz company. It's, a, it's called a psychometric company. So I've tested and actually done in the streets research more than I think any psychologist alive right now. This last year, I tested over 250,000 people. I have a trademark company, it's called Life Compass Quiz, and it's a compilation of the Hexaco, Dark Triad, the Mach 4, all this advanced stuff that I'm gonna get into in the program. But um, so this is not just theoretical knowledge that I have, okay? 
This is some academic things that I've learned from my mentors, people like David Buss. These are some of the smartest people on the planet that study evolutionary psychology, but it's also business psychology, applied psychology, practical psychology. So click the link below. Click the link below if you wanna get in the test group. You have less than seven days. I'm gonna close up this test group and then I'll just go on a wait list. Uh, like I said, I launched the Grandmaster version, the Red Belt version in 2014 and I still have it, but like I said, start with the Black Belt version. It's enough for most people, about 20% of you can move on, but I priced this lower, let more people in. <laughs> People go, why'd you price it so high back in 2014? I'm like, honestly, I didn't want everybody to know my, <laughs> my ninja tricks. Not ninja tricks, but there's a lot of ninja stuff in sales. I started learning about sales from one of my uncles years ago who was a car salesman. And he told me some of the stuff these people know how to do. It's like, wow. I remember thinking, that could be helpful in life. So um, click the link below, jump in the test group, Learning sales is the foundation for everything you do. Mark my words. I can't think of, if you want to raise capital for your business, you need to know sales. If you just want to attract better people to work with you, that's sales. Sales applies in your social life. It doesn't have to be cheesy sales. It doesn't have to be pushy sales. The art of sales is really to get your point across in a way that people understand. You're not trying to sell everybody. Just like I'm not trying to sell everybody who watches this video. That's not what sales means. Sales is misunderstood. And for that reason, it's not learned. You know, it's misunderstood. But when you understand what sales is, is that in a loud and noisy world where the average person sees thousands of ads every day, how do you get people to pay attention to what you're saying? How do you say it in a persuasive way? See, persuasion and sales go hand in hand, right? And so for me, um, I go, I don't want everybody to buy into what I'm doing. It's kind of like going on a date. You meet somebody off wherever you meet them, Tinder or whatever. You don't want to convince everybody to date you or marry you. Like, that would be a bad life, right? <laughs> I've been on some bad dates. In fact, in that case, you want to sell them on the fact that, like, we could be friends. No, but again, this is not manipulative sales. This is, let me show you who I am in a way that resonates with you. Now, I've created my own system in, in addition to the Life Compass program. You're going to be learning about a system I created called PACE, P-A-S-E, Practical Action, Social, Emotional. I divide people into four psychometric types. I'll show you how to do it on the fly. This is getting close to ninja stuff, but get your black belt in this stuff, really. It's not a real black belt, obviously, but it's a black belt of the mind. So click the link. You got less than seven days to get in the test group, the first ever test group that I've done for this black belt system. But close it up. It'll go on wait list. You can't get in. I'm not just doing a price scholarship, partial scholarship. This is okay. See you inside.